What up my awesome viewers, it is the Note 9, the, 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 the pinnacle of the Note lineup, if some might say, because this is the last Note phone that is actually zero compromise. You have the good old headphone jack that people love, you have micro SD that people love, you don't have a notch, you just, it is what it is, no notch. You have a full 6.4 inch screen, which back then is pretty big. Now it's relatively small, I'm guessing. 6.4, probably not that much. I mean, a, a 6.1 inch screen is now like considered small. So 6.4 is relatively okay. A very clicky S Pen with Bluetooth. And I think this is actually also uh, the pinnacle stylus too, huh? Because every other one after this is just meh, I guess. It's okay, but it's not like this one where it actually has the Bluetooth functionality and then it can take pictures like a shutter button thing. That's, that's actually pretty freaking cool. And then every other one after this is pretty much kind of similar there's not any sort of like revolutionary styling compared to what this one is and that's okay i think this phone is now stuck at 10 so that's pretty much it is what it is so oh well uh, i think the yeah a android 10 is pretty much where this thing ends so i think so unless there is another major update but i don't think so uh, there's only like security patches and that's pretty much it and this is the Exynos version so this is not even the more powerful Snapdragon one this is the Wimpy Exynos one according to what people are saying and yeah it's it's actually not that bad I mean I've been using this phone ever, ever since it came out I, I think so well not well, I, I did not get it first when it first came out I get it like months after it came out like three or four months when it went down to like 700 bucks and then that's when I got it but uh, back then nah, I didn't know any better I, I did not know there's an Exynos and Snapdragon version and then I, I ended up just getting this one because it was cheaper I mean I think back then even if you do wait a couple months like the Snapdragon is still like eight to eight to nine hundred bucks at least because when this one first released it was the the first ever thousand dollar smartphone and that that pretty much breaks walls, shatters, earths, um, any other way how you want to call it as, and then, yeah, now, now a thousand dollars is kind of considered mid, mid tier, huh? Like, damn, this is the time we live in, huh? Yeah, so now like a thousand dollars for a smartphone is considered pretty mid tier. You gotta spend like a thousand five hundred dollars. That's the, that's now the the, the top end. The, the flagship territory, a thousand five hundred bucks. This is still pretty fun. This is actually the most that I have ever used the S Pen to do this video for you guys. And just in terms of how the phone lives up and how how things are, just kind of like little updates here and there. I'm pretty sure the most important thing that people want to know is battery life. How are battery life doing? And I can tell you it's doing pretty decent I'm at uh, five five and a half hour screen on time I have 39% left but today is a work day so that means I did not use the phone as I would originally use it as uh, a video game console I, I use it more as a mp3 player during work days when I just listen to music and then work basically and then, yes, yeah, so I, I do a little bit of gaming during the workday, a little bit of dating apps, a little bit of banking and all that good stuff. Very, very, very little Instagram, 0.01, but still use a little bit of Instagram. And then, that's pretty much it, like the bulk of it, 25% is to Samsung Music. So, yeah. Uh, I would say on a given weekend, when I, you know, go about doing stuff and playing a lot of games 
I would say I get 39% at around 4 hours of screen on time. Yeah. 3, 3 hour 50 minutes, 4 hour screen on time, 4 hour 40% charge. Which honestly isn't that bad because there are people that have this Exynos version and only have 3 hours of screen on time before their phone dies. Dies, as in 0%. So having like 4 to 5 hours of screen on time on an Exynos version is considered a miracle. So this, this is a, this is basically a miracle of a phone. It's not bad. And then, in terms of like actual camera work, it's like pretty okay. It's not like the best in terms of cameras. It's not the worst in terms of cameras. Uh, I I don't take too many photos. I'm actually a video kind of person, so having this thing to be able to do a 60 FPS is good. But you know, you don't have any of the like uh, super steady or uh, superior zoom and things like that. This is the self selfie camera. It's pretty okay too. It's not like the best, not like the worst. So yeah, there's also that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the, 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 the screen looks good. The screen looks very good to, to be honest. Uh, the only thing that's really wrong with it are the tempered glass itself. It's kind of cracked, but that's the tempered glass and not the actual screen itself. So if you have a Note 9 or if you plan on getting a Note 9, I would say go get a tempered glass. That's probably like the number one thing to do. But then again, these phones don't really cost that much now. These, I think they're like 200 bucks now. They're probably like the two, two, three, 300 bucks tops now. Like 300 is like the high end. It's, I think brand new maybe or something like that. Yeah, but like 200 bucks use. This is this is the 128 gig model, not the 512, not the Beast 512 one. This is the 128 gig one. And yeah, overall the phone held up well. I would say it's it's been good. It's been reliable. It's been working. There's no critical error or anything like that. But then again, like. I only use it to play video games and listen to music, so it, it, watch YouTube from time to time. But you know, I don't really like the the YouTube on a on a on a phone. It's, the, the screen is too small. Like that that's <laughs> this this is just not that good of a viewing pleasure, you might say. So yeah, the screen is too small for for YouTube, but. It's it's nice once in a while when when you're you know stuck waiting in line or something. Yeah, you can go ahead and watch a couple videos, but not anything where like I I still don't understand how people can actually like watch entire movies on the screen. They watch a whole entire movie on a screen like this, and I was like, damn, that's too small. But anyways, it's still a pretty decent screen if if you don't like watch videos or stuff on it. If, if you play games, it's actually not that bad, especially if you pair it up with something like this. Like, yeah, this is pretty much transform your phone to a PSP and that's pretty freaking beast. So that's actually nice. But besides that, oh, overall, it's been good. It's still pretty fast. It's still pretty zippy through apps. So I don't see it having any issues. Going through apps, so yeah. 660 hertz, so not the not the beastie 120 hertz or 90 hertz or any other high hertz 60 hertz. It's it's good. It's good enough. But you know, if I'm pretty sure if those of you that are like using 90 hertz or 120 hertz screens, you can't go back to this. This is gonna feel like really slow for you guys. So. There's, that's also it too. But hey, but if you never used a 90 hertz screen before, you know, and you want to get something like this, it's really not that bad. It's really not that bad of a phone overall, I would say. Probably go get the Snapdragon version because I heard those are better. Personally, I don't know if they really are better. I mean, I used a Note 20 Ultra for like a week and yeah, it's, it's faster. It has a nice screen. I think that one has 120 hertz. Full HD, so it's a nice screen. It's a fast phone, but it's not like 
it's, it's not worth it. For me to jump from a Note 9 to a Note 20 Ultra, I, I feel like it's not that much of a difference. I feel like my life doesn't really change. So, unless I have something when my life really does change, then yeah, I'll go for it. But for now, life doesn't really change if I move up to another candy bar smartphone. Alright, well anyways, um, you guys like the video, like, subscribe, the bell, comment, thumbs up, more content, uh, support me on Locos if you want to view some cutthroat content. Um, I also have a companion channel that doesn't do tech, so anything but tech is the companion channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys, stay awesome.